One of the key advantages of MPEG-H audio content is that it can be interactive, which means that the end customer will have on-screen controls to choose between different sound presets. In our example, we're using the renderer for MPEG-H to create a scene preset containing the three different voiceover languages we previously assigned as objects. A preset is mainly a combination of components, beds, objects, and multi-objects. In the renderer for MPEG-H, all available components, the ones we've assigned previously, will be shown on the left-hand side column. As we've already created one preset per voiceover language, we're now selecting which components we want to combine for each preset, including their corresponding language tracks. Now we're adding them to the right-hand side column. For the German and Spanish presets, we're also selecting the original narration component. We will show how we'll level these two tracks against each other. For the viewer, these presets will be available as on-screen display options to choose from when watching the content. Now we have our language presets configured, but the original voice and the language voiceovers must be balanced properly. Let's have a listen to the German presets before leveling the voiceovers. In MPEG-H, each preset can have its own ducking volume curve. These are called gain sequences. To allow for gain sequences, tick the corresponding checkbox in the scene preferences. Now we're in the dynamic gain section of the renderer for MPEG-H, where we will add as many gain sequences as necessary. Assign a gain sequence to each preset and select the target from the components list. In our example, the original narration object will be ducked when a different language preset is selected by the viewer. Since each language has a different timing, these curves will vary. We're using the automation tracks of the renderer channel to write the desired ducking curve for each language separately. Now we can record the level automation curves manually for each preset by controlling their respective gain knobs. Now let's have a listen to each of the three different languages by selecting their corresponding preset buttons. Würde man seine alltäglichen Umgebungsgeräusche aufnehmen, wird man schwer da beim Anhören viele neue und andere Dinge que no notamos antes cuando realmente estuvimos allí. Eso me parece fascinante y es lo que me intriga y me da gierig auf Klänge. My name is Vincent Koning. My name is Vincent de Koning. We are of Big Orange. We are a music and post-production studio based in the Netherlands. Another key feature of object-based audio is that it is not necessary to create different mixes for stereo, surround, or even immersive playback environments during production. The renderer within the viewer's playback device will take care of reproducing the mix optimized to their particular environment. In the rendering layout section of the renderer for MPEG-H, we can switch between different layouts and monitor the renderer's output in different playback scenarios.